students pressure volume temperature these three are state functions and state variables both these three belong to both these categories and now we are going to see how do they belong to both of these categories so a state variable is something which describes the state of a thermodynamic system the present condition of a thermodynamic system that is a state variable so i'll just write it down here state variable is something which describes the condition of a thermodynamic system what is the state the present state of a thermodynamic system that is the job of a state variable which are pressure volume temperature these are state variables and how these are state functions also state functions are something which something which depends on the current Uh, the current state of the system which does not depend on the path followed to reach that value like in a present system let us say that this is a system this is a system and in this system there is a pressure p there is a volume v and temperature t these are the state variables okay which will be used to describe the condition of this thermodynamic system or the condition of this whole thermodynamic system that is the job of a state variable but the thing is that these state variables are at the same time state functions state functions being defined as pressure volume temperature these are state functions because they depend for their value only on the present condition of the system or in other words not exactly in other words but and also they are independent of the path followed to reach that condition they depend for their value only on the present condition of the system and they are independent of the path followed to reach that condition this let's say this is a condition and this condition has a value for p a value for v and a value for t p v and t are pressure volume and temperature which are state variables state variables are used to define or to describe the present condition of a system now now this is the job of the state variable and p v and t are doing it well now how p v and t are state functions they are state functions because when this was 
this system which was this system having p dash v dash and t dash this condition this condition had p dash v dash and t dash as the state variables this condition has state variables p v and t and the value of p v and t is independent of the path followed this is independent of, independent of the path followed that means that if there was another system which was p1 v1 and t1 and from this system it was first the condition became the condition of this system and then the condition changed to this it doesn't matter if it came directly from here or from it took a different path we are only concerned with the present state of the system that is the state function a state function does not depend on the path chosen it only depends on the value i have only made this video to make it clear the difference between a state function and a state variable and how these three are state functions and state variables at the same time they are state variables because we use these to define the condition of a system and they are state functions because these three do not depend on the path for their value their path can be anything but their value is independent of their path that's all